Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix from Maine and today I'm going to give you your Young Larissa spoilers for the week of April the 12th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button because every time you hit that like button, let YouTube know it's a good channel for your soap fans so that uh, you can be part of the soap fam where we also have a membership where you get exclusive videos, early access to videos, articles, letting you know what's going on in the soap world throughout the week. And, you know, give that, give that a try because the members got this uh, spoilers because they get spoilers a week in advance last week. <laughs> so you'd be all caught up. But, um, yeah, one of the last things I do is um, I give the members a shout out um, only in my weekly spoiler video. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out real quick. So thank you, Michael Pryor, Yvonne Todd, Jeff Payton, Patricia Bell, Brian McConaughey, Phyllis Pearson, Deb Belk, Ramona Newsom, Nellie Aper, Ariane Eno, Sandra Lee, Gwen Marie, Jen Adams, Megan Maloney, Kiki Landry, Apple Chick, Dee Dee Harders, Janet Loftus, Andrew Crawford, Omar Ramirez, Roger Smith, Dee Dee, Lisa Knapp, Artemis Hill, David Meadows, Tracy Gregg, Kelly Banks, Red Butterfly 50, Iris, Shannon Clark, and Tammy Lynn Buttram. Thank you guys for being a part of the membership, which is clearly growing. So thank you all for being part of the membership. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about some Young and Restless. Beginning with Monday, April the 12th, Amanda connects the dots about her family's past. Sharon warns Ray about Chelsea. And Nate lets his guard down with Elena. On Tuesday, April the 13th, Victor receives a surprise visitor. Uh, Ray interrogates Chelsea. And Victoria and Billy compete for a second chance. So let me break some of this down, okay? Because um, I've already seen Monday's episode um, where Devon and Amanda are looking like they're they're close to getting back together. And Nate is looking at Chelsea like she's a snack. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. Nate is looking like Elena at Elena like she's a snack. Uh, Ray is mad about Sharon um, knowing about where Adam is. Uh, she finally tells him where Adam is. And then... Adam's gone, so he's mad because he now suspects that Sharon won Adam, that he was on the way. So now he's even more pissed off at Sharon. Uh, we also got a, our first appearance of the new Faith, who is a little jarring to watch because she's older than the other Faith, who was 14. So she's probably, so it looks like she's gone from 14 to 18. And I just... I'll just say this little commentary that I understand from the actress' point of view, this is a new actress, but there is sort of a disconnect where Sharon and Nick and even Nikki aren't really treating Faith the way you would expect her to, the way they have sort of like been babying her for all this time. So yeah, you let me know in the comment section if you notice the same thing, that there's a disconnect. But I know it takes time to warm up to a new actress, but I was like... Yeah, you look like that's a cousin, not a daughter. So, um, and this other thing about um, Victoria and Billy having a second chance, because um, his name Ash uh, um, Locke, you know, is going to give them a second chance to vie for um, his company. So clearly, he's taken away from Victor and Adam. But uh, I'll just give you a tidbit of what the uh, members are going to get next um, this tomorrow when I do the videos for next week. That um, Jack is finally going to learn that Ashley and Locke is trying to take over Jabot. But that don't happen till the week of the 19th. So be a member so you can get all those all those details too. But anyway, we're going to go Wednesday, Wednesday April the 14th. Devon and Moses bond over memories of Neil. Phyllis gets the upper hand, and Jack sets the record straight with Sally. Uh, I want to say one more thing about Moses. Um, on Monday's episode, he was trying really hard to to get Nate to, to get with Elena and for Devon to get with Amanda, and, you know, it was a little aggressive. It was That's another thing that was jarring. Um, April 15th, Thursday, Victor tests Chelsea. Uh, Ray gives Sharon an ultimatum, and Summer and Kyle's relationship hits a roadblock. Uh, this is the day that I will be looking forward to, Thursday, April the 15th. I've been waiting for Victor to find out that it's Chelsea, the one that's setting up Adam. I've been, so I'm looking forward to Thursday. I'm glad that I'm looking forward to Young and the Rebels again. Um, after I took that, like, 
uh, November, December, January, February. Uh, a five month break. <laughs> so, um, Friday, April the 16th, Nick makes a confession to Phyllis. Nikki tries to keep the peace. And Victoria turns the tables on Adam. So, I'm going to go on to this uh, next. Uh, well, we're good. We're good because I get I filled you in on everything. So let me know in the comment section is Young the Restless turning around for you? Are you enjoying the new stories that are happening? Um, Phyllis still sucks, but other than, than that, and and um, this whole Abby baby plot. But I do have a coming and going video that I'm going to be doing after I do these weekly spoiler videos. So keep your eye out on that because I have some news on Chance's possible return. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.